of manufacturing jobs in the United States to overseas factories. Problem number two, the lack of skilled workers in the countries with the lowest labor cost. The solution to both problem, expatrify. Expatrify is an employment credit market. It works much the same like a carbon credit market. Look, American jobs that have been shipped overseas aren't coming back. True. But what if, what if, we could send Americans to those jobs. Oh. For a small fee, the market reunites American workers with their outsourced job in the country where their job was outsourced. That's pretty good. And there's no training necessary because these were their jobs. And with the standard of living in their new country, they can afford to do them for a fraction of their old wages. Working class Americans keep their job. American companies thrive, and highly educated immigrants with critically needed math and science skills find a more welcoming nation. It's a win, win, win. Win. That's a lot of wins. Do you guys watch National Geographic? Have you, have you ever seen the underwater shows? No. Do? No, not myself. Never mind. Hey there. Hello. Hey, yeah, I'm Michael Furtick. Hey. Hey. Nice hey. to meet Welcome you. Welcome to Heroic. As well. Hey. Um, hey, let me just say uh, thank you for, for even taking the time to take this meeting. And if I may take a moment to say that um, we are both huge fans. Yeah, of course not. We love hearing that. Uh, we're huge fans of yours too. Uh, at least we will be. Uh, once we understand the benefit of your partnership with Michael. Look, it's subtle, but it is vital. Um, okay, so let's hear about diameter. Dome motor. Dome motor is an alt-climate, on-demand, mobile domicile. Think of it as the, the Uber for the personal environmental stability dome. Because we, we all know that it's too late to prevent the catastrophic and permanent damage to the climate. Ah. Do we know that? We do, yes. If you cross-reference actuary tables with the average rate of legislative implementation, it's well past midnight. And we feel there's a massive opportunity here to embrace the inevitable, to perhaps accelerate it. Accelerate it? Hmm. The more quickly we can push past the volatility of climate change and arrive at the stability of the meteorological market correction, the more quickly we can come up with the durable solutions required. I want to unleash the creativity of the entrepreneurial class. I want to turn a climate change into a climate pivot. Are you kidding? I know. You heard my Oxford lecture. I did, both shows. Are you kidding? Brilliant. This is Hobie Hill. You've always been ahead of the curve. <laughs> Yet there's a near overwhelming consensus that the tech bubble will burst in the near immediate future. Are you at all concerned that you're launching this uh, aggressive venture fund too late in the game? No. <laughs> okay, can you elaborate? The truth is, Hobie, if you look at it correctly, I'm early. I'm the first at a completely new game. So you don't agree with predictions that the tech bubble will burst? Like saying that the bubble is going to burst is like saying it's going to rain. Well, of course it's going to rain. It's not useful information. The question is, when will it rain? Mm. How long will it rain? How much rain will come down? What kind of rain drops will it be? The Yananami tribe of the Amazon have over 1,200 words just for rain. No, I'm, I'm, what's wrong with rain? I mean, kids love rain, right? And plants, too. There are a lot of winners in your in the circle, but do the 
the countries that you're sending the Americans to, do they really want Americans? I mean, does any country want Americans in their country? You Is know, it was very good that you asked this question because I actually had a very personal story that came up for me. I myself had to do this like expatriate. My parents live in Atherton, okay? And uh, they in had- In California. A, in California, Atherton, Atherton California. Yeah. Lots of good Indians who live there. But they had a local staff from um, American people. And it was Joe, Mark, and Chloe. And what they were finding was the white people, American people, they weren't working like what Indian people wanted. You know, they didn't know how to work morning, day, and night like that all the time. In India, you can't Makes say- Makes sense. Yeah, you can't say like, oh, I need to go to the bathroom now. I need dinner. I've been working 18 hours. Like that, it wasn't working, you know? So, I, so you sent them there to train them. I how to be send better workers, them to India to and train how to, hold it how to work, work, work all the time. Yes. Without Very enterprising. Myself. Yeah. Okay. I mean, but again, why would India want Americans? Oh, in India, we love Americans. They're very funny, you know, to have around. It's like we send Joe, Mark, and Chloe. They thought they were getting Ross and Rachel and Phoebe. Didn't go so well. It's fine. They just stayed in India. I don't know what happened to those people. But we then found out you can take highly skilled Americans who work in manufacturing jobs. And then you can really That's the help. connection. Exactly. That was the bridge to your current business. Exactly. That's true. That does help them. So now that they want the Americans. Yes, win. We're funny. Win. We know how to do the job. Win. And we make good decisions. Win. All the time, Americans are making good decisions. I think around the world, people are saying, right now, Americans make good decisions. David, you've called this new venture Bubble Proof. How is this fund protected from the bubble bursting? Well, you know, a, a bubble is just a disconnection uh, from reality, right? And yeah, Silicon Valley's been living for eight years in this, in this bubble, so focused on data and metrics and accuracy and lost touch with what it is that, that consumers want, mm -hmm. right? And, um, you know, Trump's victory really uh, showed us that there's a new perspective on how people are thinking um, or how they reject thinking. Mm -hmm. You know. We have to start not thinking like they are if we're ever going to build the solutions that they're not thinking they want. But what about their families? I mean, aren't they going to miss their families if they're just heading off to these other countries? No. The families can come along. We can't even oh. f provide work for their family members, right? Right. I mean, many of these countries, you know, they also need children to work. In many of these places, you know, you bring your whatever, 16, 12, it's like a cross-sell thing, I think, is what they're saying. You can cross-sell a service to also bring your family. Right. To also work. Right. It's like summer camp. It's a great experience for them. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Fair to say you had doubts? Well, of course, you have to have doubts. As a, an investor, you have to be skeptical. I mean, if you don't have doubts, you probably don't know what you're doing. Michael did not seem to have doubts. Well, that's different. The visionary has to bring certainty, okay? And it's the investor's job to ground him. And you feel like you grounded Michael? Oh, no. Nobody grounds Michael. <laughs> <laughs>